Okay, question 18 determines uh, the following function, a one-to-one -one function using the graphical method. fx here equals to the x squared plus 1. Okay, before you sketch the graph of the quadratic function, uh, you find the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts of the function. Okay, first you find the y-intercept of the function. First you let the fx here equals to the x squared plus 1. Yeah, uh, y-intercept of the quadratic function, x here equal to 0, find the value of y, and you substitute 0 here into the function, uh, f0 equal to the 0 squared plus 1. Yeah, and here equals to the 1, and y-intercept here uh, at the 0, 1. And x-intercept of the quadratic function, uh, y here equal to the 0, and you find the value of x. Uh, 0 here equals to the x squared plus 1, and x here equals to the plus minus uh, third one. So x intercept of the quadratic function uh, does not exist. Okay, and uh, you sketch the graph of the quadratic function. Uh, you label uh, y intercepts and uh, x, uh, y axis and x axis. And uh, intercept here at the uh, 0, 1. So this one you label at the 0, 1. And graph of the quadratic function here often upwards. Okay, settle. And here uh, you find the, uh, uh, you determine the one to one function here using the graphical method. Uh, so you draw the horizontal line uh, between negative to the positive infinity. You can fix any value uh, between uh, one to the positive infinity. Okay. Uh, so maybe you put the y uh, horizontal line here at the uh, y equals to the 5. So you draw the horizontal line. Uh, you fix the value. So this one, uh, you find the value of y. Okay. So you check the answer here. Okay. So you draw the horizontal line at the y equals to the 5. Okay, and the uh, value of x here from the left, uh, so the value of x here equals to the negative 2, and x here equals to the positive 2. Okay, and the horizontal line uh, cuts the quadratic function at the 2 point, uh, negative 2, 5, and uh, at the 2, 5 here. And conclusion here, uh, this function, uh, not one-to-one -one function. Okay, and the uh, inverse function. Okay, inverse function is this when the fx here, a one-to-one -one function, 
and second domain of the inverse function uh, equals to the range of the function and number three range of the inverse function here uh, equals to the domain of the function fx yeah okay here is the original function fx and uh, inverse function f inverse of x Okay, first the original function. Uh, so you let the function here fx equals to the uh, set the uh, x minus 4. Okay, and domain of the original function or domain of the square root function here equals to the 4 uh, to the positive infinity. And you check the zero. Uh, range of the inverse function uh, equals to the 4 to the positive infinity yeah uh, so domain of the inverse domain of the function equals to the range of the inverse and equals to the 4 to the positive infinity yeah and second uh, range of the original function Okay, second, the range of the original function uh, 0 to the positive infinity, and you check this arrow uh, equals to the domain of the inverse function. Yeah, so range of the function equals to the domain of inverse and equals to the 0 to the positive infinity. Yeah, concept the mudah saja. Uh, the domain of the function uh, equals to the range of inverse and the range of function equals to the domain of the inverse function. Concept dia, you just balikkan sahaja, ya? Yeah? Okay, method here, you find the inverse function. Uh, you let y here equals to the fx, and x here in terms of y, and you replace the y here with the f inverse function. Okay, question 19, find the inverse function and sketch the graph of function and find the domain and find the range of the inverse function. fx here equals to the 5x minus 10, and x here defined for all the real numbers, and domain of this function uh, negative to the positive uh, infinity. Okay, first you find the inverse function. Uh, you let y here equals to the 5 minus x. And x here in terms of y, x equals to the y plus 10 over 5. And you refresh y here uh, with x. And x uh, plus 10 over 5. And x here you refresh with the f inverse of x. Yeah, and answer f inverse of x here equals to the x plus 10 uh, over 5. Okay, first function, uh, fx here equals to the 5x uh, minus 10. And before you sketch the linear function, you find the y-intercept of the function. Uh, x here equal to 0, so you find the value of y. And you substitute x 0 here into the function. 
and uh, 5, 0, minus 10, and answer you here equals to the uh, negative 10, yeah? And y-intercept at the 0, negative 10. Second, you find the x-intercept of the function. Uh, y here equal to 0, for find the value of y, x. Uh, 0 here equals to the 5x minus 10. Uh, x here equals 2. And the uh, x-intercept at the 2, 0, yeah? And you sketch a second function, uh, f inverse equals to the x plus 10 uh, over 5. Okay, uh, find the y-intercept of the inverse function, uh, x here equal to 0, so you find the value of y, and uh, 0 plus 10 over 5, and y here equals 2, y intercept here at the 0, 2. Okay, and x intercept of the inverse function, uh, y here equal to 0, so you find the value of x. Uh, so 0 here equals to the x plus 10 over 5, x here equals to the negative 10, and uh, x intercept at the negative uh, 10, 0. Okay, and uh, you sketch the graph of the fx and graph of the f inverse function. Okay, so you plot the point first uh, graph of the inverse function. Uh, so x intercept here at the uh, negative uh, 10, 0. So you put the point here, your labels. And here y intercept at the 0, 2. Yeah. And you sketch the straight line uh, to a positive uh, infinity. Okay, settle. Yeah. So y is this? So the function you set... Uh, uh, one unit here equals to the uh, one centimeter. Okay, and uh, x axis uh, one unit you set equals to the one centimeter. Okay, and here you label us uh, y here equals two, and x here equals to the ten. Yeah, and the second function uh, you label us uh, x here equals two and y here equals to the negative 10, okay? And uh, you draw the straight line. Okay, and uh, you draw the straight line, uh, graph of the fx. Okay, fx, and uh, you label the function here fx, and here function f inverse of x, yeah? And you put the divider between fx and uh, f inverse function. Uh, you draw the dot line, uh, y here equals to the x, yeah? Okay, and from the graphs, you find the domain of the inverse function. Uh, domain of the inverse function here is uh, all the real numbers, uh, negative to the positive infinity. And the uh, range of the inverse function, uh, all the real numbers, negative to the negative infinity to the positive uh, infinity. 